Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of May general love reading. Now, keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And hope that you all are doing well. I feel like someone's poking me. Okay, so... Scorpio, when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was Talking to Me by Anne Marie. Anne Marie happens to be a Capricorn, so you can be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individual. There could be someone that you met in Capricorn season, and which was December, January time frame. And it seems like if you met somebody and you're still dealing with this person, it just feels like the chemistry is so strong, like you guys could read each other's mind intuitively. Now, also... If you're not with a Capricorn and you had a strong psychic connection with someone, keep in mind we are in Mercury retrograde. There could be like some telepathic stuff going on between you and this person. Like you could be feeling like this person is talking to you in a dream state. I feel like for a lot of y'all, there's definitely somebody talking to you in a dream state. Even if they don't have Capricorn placements in their chart, somebody talking to you in a dream state. Now, let me tell you what I was picking up. So in the song, and I just heard this short snippet. That's how I know it's this the message that I'm picking up is very, it very much resonates. She says in that part that I heard, you always act so composed and cool. Now, the message that I got with this was you make them nervous, but they try to act composed. So if somebody who wants to talk to you and they're thinking about you a lot, like say, for instance, if you're thinking about somebody nonstop, it's because this person's thinking about you. They just don't know how to approach you. I'm also getting something very weird, like a workplace thing. Somebody at your job may very well have a crush on you. Get they, They've been checking you out. And I'm getting, and this is very specific, but this could be someone new, like a new employee. Okay, I'm getting that. This could be someone that you're training or someone that's training you. It's like this, you can feel like this pull, this magnetic pull. Like it's something between you guys. I'm getting past life stuff. Like you guys have known each other in the past life. Now, again, that won't apply to everyone. But I'm also getting like this kind of eerie in a way, like, you could be at work and you, you're you looking down at something. You look up and this person's just looking at you. And it's like, they just got a thing for you. Like, you can be like, damn, back up a little bit. Why are you on my face? Like, I feel like this person is like, it's something about you that just like, they can't stop looking at. Like, they just, I feel like this person wants to try to read you. Or they're just like mesmerized by your energy. So, let's see what we get for you guys today. We're going to go through the deck until we get your major arcana, which is the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. Then we'll get clarified for both for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Individuals. Currently at the bottom of the deck, five of um, wands, conflicts, arguments, disagreements. You know what I'm getting here? I feel like this person's trying to fight their feelings for you. I feel like this person's trying to fight their feelings for you. Or they also may hear some gossip um, surrounding how you're a player or, yeah, because I just heard a crush on you. Um, what is it? Junior Mafia and Lil' Kim, when they said, she's a slut, she's a hoe, she's a freak. Got a different girl every day of the week. I'm hearing that part. Like somebody is possibly trying to give you a bad rep, saying that you mess with everybody at the job or you mess with, you know, people who know each other, like in a circle, because it's a circle of people. So messing with people in a circle, like people who all know each other is what I'm getting here also. Huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the deck until we get your major arcana. Again, I'm going to, I want to show you like right behind here, you got the Ace of Pentacles. So that's what I'm saying. For some of you guys, this could be a new employee because Aces are something new or a new job that you started. You could be the new employee or again, something would work for some of you guys. Not everyone, but for some of you guys. So again, we want to get the death card and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Talking to me. Now, even with the song talking to me, somebody could be talking to you, telling you some, some BS. I'm getting, I'm, I'm really getting that or telling somebody of interest. Somebody's getting fed some BS, okay? Somebody's getting fed some BS, okay? Yeah, somebody's getting fed some BS. Okay, so right in front of you, that's the card, okay? So you have a, see, for some of you guys, I'm going to say this could be a workplace or this could be a Capricorn. Again, Amory is a Capricorn. Somebody has a strong Capricorn in their chart. So you got the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Pentacles is also breadcrumbing. So somebody could be talking about how someone talks to, even if it's not a workplace thing, somebody could be saying like, yeah, this, this person talks to this person or talks to that person, like breadcrumb and extending yourself to too many people. Right behind that, you have the nine of swords. That's what I said, talking to me, swords, communication, and mental. Somebody could be saying that someone is a ghoster, like they ghost people or I just feel like somebody's saying something shady. Hmm. Right in the back of the deck. Yeah, the moon, things, hidden things, and all things you don't have clarity about. So somebody's trying to, you know, the moon for me is the past, is the sun, is the future. Somebody's trying to bring up somebody's past. I feel like for, for a lot of you guys, somebody's trying to bring up somebody's past here. 
or sometimes somebody's past behavior is what I'm getting. This could be you. So the three of wands, like, stop looking at my past. Look at my future. Maybe my future is bright. Look at all that brightness right there. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody is talking about somebody's past. Keep in mind, you started off with wands and you, you were starting off here with wands. So it could definitely be a fire sign, Leo, Sage, Aries. Also, some of you all could left someone in Aries season, possibly in March in Aries season. Because if you could find out about a third party, some somebody behind the scenes. Hmm. Okay, let's get a clarifier for the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Death card, definitely an ending. And that's your major kind of also. And he's going right towards, that's what, for some of you guys, it's definitely, it could be you. Like somebody's talking about your past and you're like, I'm not worried about nothing in the past. I'm worried about my future, you know. Also, like I said, this could be an ending with someone and this person is salty. So now they're going around spreading rumors about you. Hmm. Some of you guys, this person could be spreading rumors on social media. Now, keep in mind, we're in Mercury Retrograde, right? Mercury Retrograde wraps up on the 14th of May, right? On the 9th of May, somebody could see some type of rumors coming out or something being posted on social media. And again, that won't apply to everyone, but I, I am getting that for someone. Right up under here, you got the chariot. So, you guys are moving, going in different... I feel like somebody got ghosted and they salty. And they could be gossiping. But then also, I do feel like you got somebody new coming in in your life also. Could be a Cancerian, as the chariot does resonate with Cancer. Let's go ahead and get a clarifier for the Six of Pentacles. It could be a June Cancer at that. For someone out there, Four of Wands, Marriage and Long-Term Commitment. You have the King of Cups. So definitely, I just said um, the chariot is Cancer, and you got the King of Cups, Cancer by Scorpio. Some of you guys could be interested in, in marriage. You're thinking about marriage and long-term commitment. There could have been an ending of a marriage because of a third party. You'll be finding out that somebody who's flirting with you is married. There's definitely some energy of flirting and, and things like that. Somebody who's flirting is married. Bottom of the deck, high priestess. Now, again, somebody could definitely be married, okay? Because the high priestess is one half of a divine counterpart. Her divine counterpart is the Hierophant, okay? Someone's first, middle, last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, M, H, W, P, R, S. I also heard um, Winston Hotel. Somebody may be staying in a Winston Hotel. Somebody's name can be Winston. Somebody, I'm definitely getting somebody's initials is B, J. Also getting G, okay? So let's get a clarify for the Six of Pentacles. Clarify for the Six of Pentacles for Scorpio, Summer Rising, and Venus Individuals. What's the clarifier for the Six of Pentacles? Okay. King of Pentacles in reverse. And then you got the Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands talk about needing to go choose a destination or a direction to go in. In reverse, somebody feels lost. Somebody may want to leave a relationship but has not completely left. Or somebody may have left a relationship but they weren't really ready to leave. I want you to notice she's, she's in this bed alone. But so, yeah, because I'm getting like somebody regrets their decision to leave their marriage or leave a relationship with someone. Even if marriage is not involved, because you see how she has her arms around her chest, like holding her heart, like protecting herself. Somebody may have left a relationship because of some guy. I keep getting gossip. Again, the song talking to me. She's not talking about that specifically, but I'm just channeling the messages that I'm getting intuitively. And for some of you guys, something could be playing out during Taurus season. Could be involving Taurus also because you do have the King of Pentacles, which is Taurus. Okay. Somebody's saying that somebody's juggling here. You see how he has the scales? Oh, turn it this way. He has a scale. Somebody's juggling here. Or was juggling. And that's why there was an ending. Let's get a clarifier for it. Yeah, because see, even here, she has an owl. The owl is flying towards her, not away from her. Owls talk about hidden, hidden knowledge, hidden wisdom. And it's flying towards her. So somebody found out that somebody was not being faithful. Okay. Possibly in Taurus season. Or again, this could be a Taurus person. Someone rising Venus. Bottom of the deck, you have the chariot. Yeah, some information coming. Look, the owl is flying towards her and the chariot is coming towards you also. So some type of information could be coming towards you or, or a loved one. Could be coming from a Cancerian. Um. Also, again, this is kind of giving me the vibe like somebody may be leaving someone. Because he's not driving towards the castle. He's leaving. He's moving away from it. So that's why I said you got him outside of his castle. So somebody possibly left a living situation. Somebody could be gossiping about how someone just recently went through a divorce. I'm kind of getting like workplace uh, gossip. Like say, for instance, you start a job and you find this person appealing or interesting and you ask like, well, so what's the deal with so-and-so? And I just heard Steve or Steven. So somebody's name could be Steve or Steven or Stevens. Um, asking like, what's the deal with your boy Steve? Like, what's up with him? And then this person could say, well, 
he fresh, he just got divorced and he's, you know, he's single now, but they, they're in court, they're battling, they're fighting, it's real nasty, something like that. Again, I want to apply to everyone, but I'm also getting like, someone's having a hard time dealing with a separation also. This could be you or someone in a situation when it comes to love. Let's get a clarifying for the Nine of Swords for Scorpio, Summon, Rising, Venus, individuals. And then flip out so I won't take it. So yeah, somebody's having a hard time saying something. Okay, I just seen something flip up. Okay, well, I'm going to keep shuffling. Let's get a clarifying. Okay. Wow. See, that's what I'm saying. Somebody is definitely dealing with a breakup. You got the lovers in reverse. Gemini energy in reverse. That's a breakup. That's a separation. And somebody could be really be regretting a decision that they've made in regards to love. Because the, the um, lovers card also talks about choices here. So somebody could be regretting leaving their relationship because they don't like sleeping alone. Like they're so used to being with this person. Could have been with this person for six plus years. And hasn't been single in six plus years. And, and now being single is kind of six to nine because you got... Six here and then you got nine. So six to nine years someone could have been with their person. And they're not you they don't like the feeling of being alone. Now keep in mind if this is you, this could be you could be feeling like this because we're in Mercury retrograde. So you know, retrograde I always tell you guys is like rewind. So you're thinking about the past energy, you're thinking about the past connection, you're thinking about what you lost, you're thinking about things that don't have proper closure. So that could be a biggie for a lot of people right now. So this is definitely something like some type of ending. Now, also, like I said, somebody could be very intimidated and could miss out on an opportunity with a love interest because they're not speaking up. Somebody definitely could be dealing with some type of anxiety. Because I'm going back to what I heard with talking to me with the Anne Marie songs, and she said, you always act so composed and cool. But deep down, somebody's going through some type of anxiety. Somebody wants to approach you about something or you want to approach someone. There's some anxiety here for someone in this situation, okay? So, Scorpio, someone rising in Venus individuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.